This text network analysis tool can measure the bias of any discourse structure. Infranodus visualizes any text as a graph and uses network science to analyze its structure, like in this visualization of the news articles on coronavirus. The discourse in the news is ranked as focused, which means there is a bias towards one topic. The most influential terms are in the prevalent topical cluster, outbreak, health, official. On the other side, here is the text network visualization of the news discourse on the global warming. The discourse structure is ranked as dispersed, which reveals diversity in coverage, but also less urgency. Try this tool on your own data or keep watching to learn how it works. Log on infernodus.com, go to the app section and select the RSS News Imports app. Select the custom RSS feed and paste the link to your news feed, all the news on coronavirus in our case. Set include teasers and click save. Infranodus will import all the RSS news items on that subject, coronavirus. Infranodus will visualize the news feeds as a network of words, nodes, and edges, co-occurrences. We can click the main term coronavirus and remove it from the graph. Like this, we can see the structure of the current news discourse around that topic. We can also see the most relevant topics in this discourse and how they're related. We can see which context these terms and topics appear in and read the articles. Infranodus automatically detects the network structure, focused in our case. Click on the network structure score to see what the ranking means. The score is based on the network's community structure and on the entropy of nodes distribution among the communities. There is also the network ecology score, which shows the state of the network, mobilizing. Click on the inside button to read more about it and to obtain action advice for this discourse. In this case, the action advice is to diversify or to develop the underrepresented topics in this discourse. These topics are shown on the inside panel, disease, prevention, and transmission, fear. Let's compare this graph to the news discourse on Ebola virus, which we already have here. We will see its network structure is focused. There is a prevalence of coronavirus in this discourse. So coronavirus seems to have infected this discourse too. Let's look at another example, a Wikipedia article on coronavirus. Its discourse structure is focused mainly on China and outbreak, so there is a bias towards these topics. We can reduce the number of nodes to see more clearly. Another example, the current news discourse on the global warming. You can see that the graph is much more sparse and the nodes are distributed more or less equally. So the network structure is ranked as dispersed, there is no bias to one specific subject. As is explained here, it has a high level of diversity, but low capacity to mobilize. We could say that this discourse is less urgent and more exploratory. As it is also shown here, the network is in restructuring mode. Click on the inside to get an action advice. Make connections. In this case, between the two topical clusters shown below the advice. Sticking to oil and gas on the one side and drawdown solution and project, a rating of climate change solutions. So we could explore this link by selecting the topics proposed and searching for them. Connecting the different ideas in our original discourses structure. Try network structure analysis on your own texts, Google search results, RSS newsfeeds, tweets or anything else using infranodus.com.